Hi, my name is Brian Arnoff, chef and owner of Cat Mac. Today we're here uh, troubleshooting and looking at how to thicken a sauce for a mac and cheese. So we're going to go over the basic steps of making a roux. Uh, to make a roux, all you really need is some flour and butter. Um, typically for mac and cheese, you want to use the same amount of butter and flour, um, typically by weight. So here we have a quarter cup of butter and a quarter cup of flour. We're going to melt this butter down. Uh, once the butter has fully melted, we're going to sprinkle in our flour. Um, it's important to melt your butter pretty gently. If you melt it too fast, you uh, do risk burning the butter and that's going to change the whole flavor of your sauce. Um, when we do add our flour, we're going to use a whisk to really uh, make sure that we don't end up with any lumps inside of our roux. Lastly, we have about three cups here of scalded milk. Uh, this could be the base of a mac and cheese. It could be uh, for any other type of sauce that you are interested in making. Um, once we add the flour to the butter, we're going to uh, whisk it up. And you can see how that's really just coming together beautifully, very gently. You might even want to pull it off the heat a little bit at this point because you do not want to overcook your roux. You can see right now we're basically at a blonde roux stage, which just means that it's at the lightest color and at its greatest thickening power. So um, here we have our milk mixture. Uh, this could be your mac and cheese sauce that didn't thicken. It could be a, a sauce that you're making for something else. Um, we always like to season our sauces here, a little salt and fresh cracked black pepper. And then you want to slowly whisk in your roux mixture. And it's important you really scrape it all out of the pan. And you can see it's immediately starting to bubble up and it's going to start to thicken. You want to bring this to a simmer and simmer for about two to three minutes and you'll have a beautifully thick sauce. Always keeping your eye on it, whisking it, make sure you're scraping the corners and the bottom not to allow it to burn. And the best way to check to see if your sauce is thick enough is we're going to take our wooden spoon and uh, dip it into the sauce and cook the back. And this is called um, nappe consistency in French. You're just going to run your finger across if your line holds steady, you know your sauce is thick enough and ready to be used for your mac and cheese. Thank you for viewing today. This was Thickening a Roux and my name is Brian Arnoff. Mm -hmm.